I'm Gary. Gary. Jim X. What we're gonna do is we're gonna have a little walk around, introduce it to the place. Craig. Managing director. What a guy, right? <laughs> he looks great. No problem. So just briefly, quick look at the gym. This is the gym floor. But today what we're gonna be doing, we're gonna be inside with Pete, one of our PTs, newest member of the team, Pete Perdue. Shazam! Oh, Jesus Christ, P. Where did you come from? How are you? How are we doing? You ready for action? I'm ready for action. Okay, are what? you ready for action? Of course I am. Ah, that was really awkward, but help. So, class, how are we doing today? What are we doing? So, what I have in store for you today. Okay. A strength and conditioning class. Happy days. It's going to be four sections. Yeah. Each section is a mix between a strength exercise mm -hmm. and then a conditioning exercise. Beautiful. So it's lined up in different ways in different sections. So it's constantly challenging in different ways. I'm excited. It's going to be interesting. It's going to be exciting. Absolutely. I'll be full of energy today. I'm ready to warm up. I'm ready to get going. You get the warm up in, we get rocking. Let's do this. Let's make it Let's do this. Right, Pete hit me with me first one. So we're going to start off the warm up today with some running on the spot, just nice and loose, jog in place. It's good to get all the joints warmed up through the, through the warm up, get all the muscles warmed up as well, especially stuff like the ankles, knees, shoulders and the elbows, very, very important to warm them up, you don't get cracks or any pain. Now Gary's going to go a little bit further, punch it straight out from the stomach, keeping the feet on the spot as well. That's it, one at a time. Just that bit forward, I stand to warm up a bit more of the upper body because it, it is a full body workout that we are doing today. Multiple joints, multiple exercises in there. So straight away from here, we're going to go up above the head with the fists, one after the other. Just stretching out more the back, more the shoulders in this one. Because like I said, all of these exercises today, they are above the head, down on the floor, side to side, every movement. Now we're going to go into a star jump. So hands up above the head, feet together, and into a star. And back, back again. again. And Patrick back again. star, pencil. That's it. Nice I, and loose. I, I need to be nice cues. and loose. I need Loosey cues. goosey. Right, so what am I doing next? So now you're going to continue doing that over and over very, very fast. But I need the cues. So start, pencil, start, pencil, pencil, start. <laughs> right, I got lost in there. And nice and loose. That'll do, Gary. Thanks, pal. How did I do? You warm, you sweating? <laughs> Today on the menu, guys, strength and condition. So the first section, we're doing deadlift and ball slams. This is EMOM. That means every minute on the minute. So it's seven repetitions with the deadlift, straight away into seven repetitions with the ball slams. The quicker you do them repetitions, the more rest you have. Number two, we bent over rows and jacks. This is AMRAP. That means as many reps as possible. So in that minute, the bent over row is seven reps, the jacks are seven reps. You're repeating that cycle for the minute, non-stop, non-stop cycle, and then you have a break after that minute. Then we have goblet squats for section three with mountain climbs. This is 30 seconds each, and then you have a 30 seconds break. And number four, we're well, back into arm wrap, shoulder presses and thrusters, seven reps each. Repeat the cycle non-stop for the minute, and then you have a break after the minute. So the first exercise that Gary's gonna do is a deadlift. This is a multi-joint movement, mostly works the hamstrings, glutes, and lower back area. And so as you can see, Gary's hinging the hips back, keeping the knee behind the foot, which means you're stretching the hamstrings and glutes more instead of bringing the knee over the toe, which means that you're going to activate more quad. That's what you don't want to do. As you can see, this ball weighs 20 kilo. So what Gary's going to do next are his ball slams. As you can see, Gary's driving up through his feet, up onto the toes and drive, using his body weight to drive down the ball. It's not just a lifting movement, it's a full body motion. Driving straight down. The next exercise on the list for Gary round two is barbell bent over rows. This exercise works the biceps, the lats, the traps, as well as the lower back. 
from hamstrings and glutes. He's trying to keep the body bent over in the bent over position. He's pulling up nice and low into the lower belly, keeping the feet just a bit wider than shoulder width apart, hips back, knees forward. The next exercise after them bent over rows is into the cardio again for the conditioning part is jacks nice and loose on the toes. You don't want to be stiff doing this movement. So round three, we have a goblet squat. Bringing it right up to the chest this time, we're gonna grip it like a ball. So grip the end of it like a ball, nice and comfortably against the chest, elbows tucked in. We're gonna use our elbows as a stopping point when they hit the legs, and we're gonna come straight back up. So hips are back, right down, and then back up together. This is a multi-joint movement as well. We're using every single muscle in the leg, quads, glutes, hamstrings. On the way down, we want to keep the core tight, as well as engaging the lats and the arms to grip the kettlebell on the way down. The more you bring the toes out, the more you bring the feet out, the more you're stretching the hamstrings and glutes, it means it's gonna be more of a hamstring glute dominant exercise over the quads. So section three, conditioning, we have mountain climbs. So Gary's up on his hands, nice and soft on his hands, and he's driving his knees in towards his belly, keeping his core tight, one after the other. Should be only ever one foot on the ground at the time. It's a core exercise. You have the legs in there as well, driving the legs in. You have the quads dominating, pulling in. If you have trouble doing this exercise, you can also go onto your elbows. If your wrists are sore and you're not used to holding your body weight up on your hand position, you can go onto your elbow position and drive from there. Watch me touch me toes. So the next exercise on the program is number four. We're on to shoulder presses. Shoulder presses, we're gonna use the dumbbells. You can use the kettlebells as well, but today we've chosen the dumbbells. This is the same, it's a multi-joint exercise, using all three of the deltoid heads and the shoulders, as well as the triceps to extend the arms overhead. Gary's gonna perform the shoulder press for you now. He's gonna bring the dumbbells up above his shoulders. Three, two, one. We're gonna press straight up above the head with the shoulders. Three, two, <laughs> one. Away we go. As you can see, Gary's core is tight to stop the belly from wobbling, the hips from rolling forward. The position you choose depends on which deltoid head you focus on more. So the more to the front you bring the elbows, the more of the front delt you're focusing on. Or the more to the back you bring the elbow, the more the rear delt and the side you're bringing into play. Last on the menu today, final section of section four is thrusters. This is the conditioning part of the exercise, the final one. Gary's gonna perform a thruster. The thruster, the same as the shoulder press, we're gonna try and imagine we have the dumbbells and the hand up at the shoulder position. We're gonna incorporate the squat into this. So you're squatting down with the hands above the shoulders, hips back, all the way down past parallel, and then driving up through the heels. Should I put these bad boys away now? <laughs> Interview style questions. So, Pete, from this we have some slanderous accusations that I need to address with you. <laughs> right, so we're going to talk a little bit about Pete today, our newest PT to the team. And um, Pete, got a little bit of history in the gym, right? And then competing. Yeah, I've been training since I'm 16. Um, I actually started training down in front of Started from there, just training every body part every day, just copying the bigger guys. It was uh, just doing bench press and lat pull down every day, and yeah. just doing absolutely everything wrong. But you gradually start learning, you start watching a lot of more videos, and then you start educating yourself that bit more, and then you start to do stuff a bit better, and then you start seeing results. Yeah, and then you start to understand that you can't just go to the gym all the time. That Has to what's be structure. more important, what's more important is structure. Right, yeah. But most important is diet. So today in the off season, we're working on building size and building strength. Yeah, so I've, I've three splits. So I have a high day, a medium day, and a low day. So, so high last day week was my high day, which was eight to twelve repetitions. Right. This is my medium week. Right. Which this is, is five to eight. Right. Next week's gonna be my peak week, which is one to three reps. So it's all my max strength. And that's strength stuff. Yeah. So five day today, we're gonna have some fun. So what we train today? So it's gonna be pull. Pull. Which is gonna be back and biceps. Yeah. So what we're gonna run through this like two days. So I have a machine day and then I have a kind of traditional day with deadlifts, um all bar work like bent over rows, mm -hmm. um 
bicep curls with like the easy bar yeah. instead of uh, the cable machines and the other equipment. So you're keeping your body guessing and you're becoming stronger on not only the basic equipment but both the machines as well that come from different angles. So it's going to be the traditional day which is going to be bent over rows, T-bar rows, pull-ups, stuff like that. It's going to be fun. Sounds good. You get cracking brother. Absolutely. Yeah, let's make it happen. Let's do it. Come with me if you want to live. So, we're gonna get ready for the warm up for the pull day, right? Come this way. So, the warm up is gonna consist of a rotary cuff with the dumbbells, and then we're gonna probably move on to some pull ups, and then after that, we're gonna get into the walking sets. So, it's really important to warm up the shoulders. So, this rotary cuff warm up that I do every day before my upper body sessions, I usually only use the 5 kg dumbbells or the two and a halfs. So, bring the shoulders and the elbows all the way back. I usually do 10 repetitions with this weight. And then what I do is move them forward and do the exact same thing. Just gonna feel the delt bite in a different position. And then I go into a Y position and then above the head, you're just gonna feel a pull differently on the shoulders and the rotary cuff. Use your warm up to warm up and then straight into your exercises. So first exercise, part of the warm up, we have pull ups. So what I like to do is pull ups. Usually people grip the bar and pull the chest in towards the bar. I'm trying to incorporate more of a lap pull as well as the traps. So what I do is stand backwards to the bar and bring the elbows back more, bringing more of the traps and the lats into play versus bringing forward, I find brings more of my biceps in. Five repetitions, three sets, just to get nice and warmed up. We're not trying to fail yet. Just gonna get nice and warm. Pause at the top. Zwei. Slowing the way down. Drei. Here. So first exercise, first working exercise we're doing is bent over row with the bar. But you usually go with thumbs width from the start of the knurling. Knurling. The knurling. So next on the menu, guys, is T-bar row. Hey, I'm gonna sing. Let's go. Yup. <sighs> there we go. Last one. Adapt. Hold a sec. <laughs> so here we're using the mag grip. It's close grip. Five, four, three. Two, one. And come, on, come on, come on, come on. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Five, four, three, two, one. So, last exercise, finish off some biceps. Chosen today to do some preacher curls. We have a preacher curl machine. Usually do them with an easy bar, but we have the machine here. It's a lovely machine, nice fat grip. So it's burning out the forearms as well, the fat grip. Sit right down into it. That's it, okay. man. Yeah, done. Finito. I shall speak to you later on. Thanks for having me, brother. And uh, you'll see the camera then next time. Yeah. Yeah. Peace and love, brother. <laughs>